Hey fellow truth seekers, thank you for tuning in as always, 98th episode right here. I want to talk about that recent update to the Georgia Guidestones. They've been big news in the conspiracy world, largely in part to Alex Jones and Infowars. If you haven't seen my post on Alex Jones and Infowars, you should know that they are part of the conspiracy. They're trying to put information out there to entertain the minds of people who are on the right path, but they're trying to deter these minds and limit them, such as how Alex Jones shouts down and calls people idiots, including myself, who state that there were no planes involved with September 11th, which I think is true, but people such as Alex Jones will say is an insane theory, even though there's all sorts of evidence to support that there were absolutely no planes involved with September 11th. So, InfoWars right here, the gematria of InfoWars, it sums to 42. The name Alex also equals 42. Remember, that's the meaning of life number. In English, three-letter words that sum to 42 are war, sin, gun, sub, GPS, new, meaning of life. Think about our society. Almost everyone who lives here is addicted to new, from relationships to materialism. And as a nation, we've been at war for almost all of our existence. I mean, talk about a sinful existence. And you think about the people who lived here before us. They are said to have lived here for a very long time in harmony with the land. And now what's here? What, what's our legacy? We haven't even been here that long. We've destroyed the place. So anyway, Georgia Guidestones, you guys, that's the topic. They were recently updated. People are going, oh, what's it all about? Well, these people should be reading my blog. They'd already know what it's all about. If you don't know what the Georgia Guidestones are, you need to look them up. They're Ten Commandments for a New World. And essentially, the first rule is very scary, but then the other nine, they're all fairly reasonable. And when you look at them, it almost seems like maybe they've all been achieved. One of the rules is unite the world under a new living language. Perhaps that's English. Perhaps these rules were written way longer than they were put on these stones. But the first rule is what scares everyone because it is limit the Earth's population to 500 million. If that were to happen today, the current population is said to be 7 billion. That means 13 out of every 14 living people would have to die to get to 500 million. And actually the rule is keep the Earth's population under 500 million. So anyway, after that, the rest of the rules aren't so scary. These, these stone pillars were put there on March 22, 1980. In U.S. history, the Jamestown Massacre happened on March 22nd. It was kind of the original 9-11, and if you look up that event, it's the event that shaped the nation. Prior to the Jamestown Massacre, nobody thought of themselves as independent of Britain. And after that, literature came out that promoted the area as Virginianers, which was the first title independent of something British. And it's interesting to think about because this came out of a tragedy that was blamed on Native Americans. It was said that savages ransacked the village, killed everybody. And out of this came this movement of identity, but also out of it came a movement against the Native Americans, which eventually ended in a genocide. And what's interesting is the word Indian and the word variola, variola is the scientific name for smallpox, which wiped out the Native Americans, both the words Indian and variola in Gematria sum to 33, a lot like the initials of Christopher Columbus, CC, sees the third letter, who essentially is credited with giving them the name Indian. But anyhow, so March 22nd, also on that date was the Stamp Act, which gave way to the Boston you know, Tea Party and Revolution. So 322 has been real shaping in our history. More recently, it was the date, um, uh, it was the date that... Congress to pass what's dubbed Obamacare. I hate that name, though, because it shouldn't be credited to one person. It's just the work of a long history of insane health policy. Anyhow, March 22nd, 1980, the date those stones were put there, they are on the 34th parallel north, one degree up from Atlanta. Atlanta's on the 33rd parallel north, a very significant parallel as well. ATL, the abbreviation is 1 plus 20 plus 12, going by the alphabetic order. The abbreviation ATL sums to 33, just like how it's on the 33rd parallel. Not a coincidence. And also with regards to 34, we're currently in the 34th year anniversary of the Georgia Guidestones, which will end on March 22nd, 2015. And if you've seen my blog post, March 15th, 
2015 something big is coming you need to go check that video out because I really do think something's going down that dates connected to this as well alright so it has this curious start date people are going well what's going on because just recently in September on September 21st 2014 a cornerstone was placed and um, the numerology of that date, 9 plus 21 plus 14, sums to 44. That was a Sunday this year. That was the same date that gave me the information about what this year's Super Bowl would be, if I'm correct, which I believe will be Lions Colts. That's another post you should check out. I got all sorts of information, you guys. I think I'm some crazy person. You better check out a few more of my posts first. So here we go. 44. Why does this continue to fit the pattern for the Georgia Guidestones? Well, Georgia is the fourth state in order of statehood, and Georgia in Gematria sums to 44. Only one other state sums to 44 out of the 50 states, and that's Wisconsin. Wisconsin, which ends with the word sin and also has the word con in it. Anyhow, Georgia, all these fours, right? Earlier this year, that plane that went missing, MH370, it went. It disappeared at 7.24 a.m. Let's do some simple math. Seven hours is 60 minutes. Seven times 60 is 420, 420, plus 24 more minutes. 420 plus 24 is 444. So this plane vanished at the 444th minute. A couple years back, Willem Dafoe came out with a movie where he co-stars with a woman who happens to have an April 4th birthday, 4-4. And in that movie, it's titled 444, The End of the World or something. So you just see from Hollywood to, to the real news to what's going on on the Georgia Guidestones, this numerology coding is abound, and people in powerful positions are doing it. And if you laugh at the movies... You're not getting it. I mean, the movies are one of their one of their main tools they use to program us. So here's another mystery on the Gadstones. The name R.C. Christian. On the History Channel, they did a, a documentary about the Guidestones earlier this year. They have this conspiracy guy who kind of goes out there and tells people whether he thinks the conspiracies are real or not. It's, it's a joke. I hate watching History Channel. But anyway, he did one on the Guidestones, and the guy who helped who's part of the company that helped put him there. He The only information he gave out about the name R.C. Christian is the name or the initial R stood for Robert, which should come as no surprise. The gematria of the word Robert is 33. The gematria of the word Christian is 47. Remember a second ago I said March 15th, 2015. I think something big is going to happen. March 15th is the 74th day of the year, the reverse of that 4-7. The word gematria equals 74. The word English equals 74. So many very important words equal 74 as well as 47. These words have duality with each other. Beauty equals 74. Beast equals 47. Jury equals 74. Judge equals 47. Fruit equals 74. Candy equals 47. Jesus equals 74. Yeshua equals 74. Joshua, the English translation of Jesus, equals 74. The word cross equals 74. The official spelling of Muhammad, the central figure in Islam, equals 74. The word Christians, 47. The most important book in, in the Quran is book 47, which talks about Muhammad, who equals 74. So these same numbers are code. It's not just Islam and Christianity either. The word Jewish equals 74. Anyway, that's the reason these are on here too, is the point I'm making. These are very significant numbers. These are big topics. You guys need to, if you're, if you're interested in this, you never heard about this before, visit my blog. It's all linked down in the comments. Watch my other videos. I'll show you what's all going on. I'll show you how all this links up. I got it pretty well figured out. I'll tell you what, honestly, guys, I'm looking at a lot of YouTube videos out there. There's a lot of good information, and I'm seeing, like, decent videos have 10,000 views and 500 likes. And I'm thinking, yeah, this is a pretty interesting video. But not to be arrogant and float my own boat, the information I'm putting out, you guys, is way better than most of these other video blogs that have 10,000 views and 500 likes. So what I need you guys as my viewers to do who believe in this is help share and spread the word. And I don't care. You or I shouldn't say I don't care. You guys need to stop caring what other people think. I know the reason you don't share is because you care what other people think. And that's the reason you're finding people like me, too, because you're looking for voices like yours but you guys have to start being more brave this word has to get out quick because we're running out of time we really are running out of time that's why they're putting these capstones on here all this stuff is syncing up 
And, okay, final point. The Guidestones were placed where they are three months before CNN launched. CNN is owned by Robert Turner, better known as Ted Turner. His full name is Robert Turner III, born November 19th, 1938. That 1119, November 19th birthday is a tribute to Knights of Templar. Knights of Templar are the orig original Freemasons who have a highest degree of 33. Check it out. The name Robert, his first name equals 33. The name Turner, his last name equals 33. He's the third. His birthday, November 19th, 1938, when you sum 1 plus 1 plus 1 plus 9 plus 3 plus 8, the full numerology of the date, it sums to 33. I think Robert Turner is really an agent. It might not even be a real birthday, and I think that they code their names and their birthdays by this special numerology. It's not just 33, 47, 74, but those are some of the most important numbers. And anyway, I just want to get this out there. I want to show you guys how this all syncs up, how it fits the ongoing pattern. It's all about these numbers, so pay attention. Hope you learned something.